Oh, it is recording. Okay. Hi guys, it's Aki Dearest. I can't talk a l uh, really loud because people are sleeping in the house. So, um, but I do need to tell you guys that I'm working on two videos. Uh, this one and another one that's coming up. Next one actually is about Tokyo Ghoul. And that one's probably going to be really, really funny because I've written the whole thing already. So I suggest it to Tokyo Ghoul fans. And if you haven't started it, you really should. Manga or anime. Most people suggest manga, but I don't really care what you do as long as you get the story lying down. Anyways, so in this episode, I'm going to be drawing anime characters blindfolded. And I asked people to send me suggestions. So hopefully that works out well and don't laugh at me because uh it is blindfolded and i swear i really can draw pretty good so this is going to be really fun anyways let's do it this thing is really tight but here we go i actually have never seen jojo's bizarre adventures but i think that this one actually turned out really well and then we've got edward elric it's kind of cute. His feet are a little askew. Like, I know he's like missing one leg, but I, I did something pretty weird, and then I've got like this weird paper airplane. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell happened here. Alba? It's like, he looks like a, looks like a bird with, I think that's supposed to be his jacket. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but let's just pretend that, that that's not there. <laughs> he looks like a very proud um, sort of creature. I don't know what that would look like. It's some kind of like seal or something with really deformed muscles. This was supposed to be like his abs, but it ended up all the way up here. This one turned out pretty cute. It's Hinata. These were supposed to be her boobs, because I know they're really big. And then this one, it kind of looks like she's already doing some sort of jutsu. This guy... <laughs> I think I could have done a little bit better on. It's like his torso and then his legs. No butt, and then his face kind of looks like um, uh, that guy from Futurama. I can't... Why can I remember- why can I never remember his name? Because I don't really watch Futurama, so... Okay, this one I don't know how I could have messed up on. But there you go. Ditto's got a little crack in his... head. And then we've got Tsunade. I also had to put the definition in her breasts. Tss, tss. And then she's also muscular, so I had to put a little bit of muscle in there. But I, I didn't expect that her breasts would take up about, I don't know, like maybe 50%. And then her face is kind of, I don't know which way she's even looking anymore. This one almost looks like Picasso. Friend, I actually really, really like this anime. So I actually made her body pretty well. The boobs and, well, this is supposed to be her collar. I don't know what happened here. But you can definitely tell which hand he uses to um, play tennis. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know what my problem is by making everybody wear capes, but yeah, this is supposed to be from Ghost in the Shell. And I think I did her okay. It's not the worst, but there is- I do have a problem with wanting to make a jacket, but it always comes out as a cape. This one didn't turn out too bad. It actually looks like it can actually be like a doll, if you think about it. Like maybe a Bioshock doll or something. But her little curly keys, the proportions on this one are probably the best. Next to Ditto. June. She looks like, I don't know if that's supposed to be her arm, but at least with this one, she's supposed to have a cape, but even then, it kind of looks like a weird cape. That's supposed to be like the swan helmet, and her eyes kind of end up all the way up there, but 
if I turn it, it kind of looks like her boobs are sticking out. I don't know. This one isn't that bad either. Yep, and then you've got that. I got his head here, and I'm surprised I did the boxing gloves right on this one. But yeah, that didn't actually turn out too bad. I don't know. I, there's, I remember like there was some intensity in his torso. So I think I went a little too much because now it's like abs are, and then tiny legs, and then this little arm <laughs> sticking out, and then this is sword through his face. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching my video, and um, like I said, there's another video coming up about Tokyo Ghoul, so you really, really, really should get into it. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, so this was super fun to do, and I really would like it if um, any of you guys encouraged any of your friends to watch, like, or comment, maybe even subscribe if they feel like it's worth it, and uh, yeah. Uh, I'm having actually really fun making these videos. I don't know how far this is going to get, but hopefully I can figure out some other stuff to do. Anyways, um, bye guys, and I will see you in the next video.